Good morning and God bless you. Thank you for everybody. Thank you, God, for um, your family, for your support. And God bless you. I appreciate this. Hey, that's my baby. Uh, if, um, if I don't yell and holler and scream and laugh and joke, it's because um, a sister laryngitis visited me this week. But I asked her to leave. <laughs> okay, here we go. A year to remember <clears throat> and a time to celebrate. Celebrate what? Well, the ministry of this church is reaching far beyond the borders of this building. And as Psalm 150 says, praise the Lord and praise Him for the, the mighty things that He has done. Now, I'm going to need your help this morning because uh, of this uh, sister that visited me, Lauren. <clears throat> so every time you see this, and it will come up often, I'm going to ask you to say it loud. If you're not loud enough, I'll ask you to say it again, okay? Okay, I will, I will say this part. How does it happen? And you will respond vigorously with... Oh, and... Okay, here we go. Well, that's me, and I'm your missionary. And I'm here to give gratitude to God and to this incredible assembly of God's people called Kingdom Life. And, of course, the awesome staff that stands behind. What is a missionary? Well, a missionary is like me, you know, one who ministers in another culture, nation, and language, if they were here, they'd probably be called as pastor or something like that. But you, you go over there, you get to call a missionary. And where do we work? Well, we work in Europe, the easternmost nation in Europe called Romania. What nation? Thank you. It is a little weak, but it'll work. Okay. 21.7 million people. Democratically elected republic and 80%, 87% Orthodox, and 25% of the population is under 24 years of age. And what do we do? Well, our emphasis clearly is on training. We cannot do the job, but we can help others do the job. And so, therefore, that is our job. I just want to go through a little Hall of Fame here quickly to show you this is the, the um, premier minister, the Christian statesman, of Romania, David Nicola, and uh, this is a good Pentecostal leader, and another great leader in Romania. This man has built an incredible work, and Pastor Wooden has ministered there in his church. This man has established a great work, over 200 people in about two years. This is a medical doctor who has uh, been working with us and then here comes the American Minister's Hall of Fame of 2013. And you know who the top guy is. Yeah. If it weren't for him and this ministry here, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. There's Pastor Terry, Rick Dill, Thurman, and uh, Paul Holyfield, George Barham, and uh, Jim Kerwin. And uh, this incredible gentleman, he comes from Korea. He left Korea 23 years ago to become a missionary in Europe. That's quite a hoot. And, uh, but he has incredible um, influence and leadership over churches in the Czech Republic, Poland, Serbia, England, and Germany. And we're going to all those places. And if you come, we'll take you to at least one. How does this happen? Thank you. You're doing good. You must be Pentecostal. Okay. Here are some of the things we've been doing over there. You know, youth camps. Incredible. These boys, three boys on their bicycle, rode 90 kilometers to get to a conference at Apavia with us. And they were such a, a wonderful group, a happy group. And, of course, we have... Uh, women's football. That's what they call soccer over there. 
and uh, a group of youth been at Apavia, and of course, we love those campfires in the evening. <clears throat> a whole generation of women are rising in Roman Romania through the ministry, the, the uh, groundbreaking ministry of Pastor Angela Reed. What she has done is ministered and gathered the women together uh, the women are allowed, not allowed to preach there, you know. Oh, well, she's been breaking down some barriers. We need some Holy Ghost ministers for women. And uh, they couldn't get enough of her. And they, she was there in November, and they insisted she come back in December. She said, well, if you pay my fare, I'll come back. They raised half the fare. She came back anyway. <laughs> and just ooze with love and with manifestations of the power of God. She was really speaking prophetically into the lives of these women, and these are some of the women leaders that have risen in Romania. How does this happen? Oh, yes, you're doing good. Okay. And some things we've been able to do in Apavia, you see, that's about where we are on the map of Roma Romania. It's the pastor's wife led us in singing, and that's the name of our conference hall. It's the Wooden Lodge. Somebody said, well, you mean the clothes are made out of wood? No. So then I added Pastor Randy Wooden, and that straightened them out, okay? And, of course, a picture there with his, with his bride. And really we're there because of your sacrificial giving. You know, we're having fun with that, but I really come to say thank you. Thank you. Because some of you could have done something else with that money. You could have done something, bought something, gone someplace, but you didn't. You gave it to the ministry. That's called sacrificial giving. And so here, you know, as you worship the Lord and uh, are experiencing the move of God here through your worship and so on and your prayers, we are being affected by what you are doing here. Um, I don't know what verse that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're back in Romania now. This is at the Apavia Conference Center, and that premier Christian statesman came and spoke at the conference we did. And what an honor it was to have a man of that caliber. And of course, up to this year, we had maximized at 35 and maybe 40, depending on uh, how many you count, you know, the babies and so on. This year we were packed full with over 70 pastors, leaders, and, um, well, thank God that that's a wonderful problem to have. And there is um, uh, some kind of minister uh, working along with the, the medical doctor, Dr. Botryan, and really uh, I had the privilege of leading him to the Lord, but today he's like an evangelist all on his own. Going out, you can see there are, there are people up in the balcony here, as well as under the balcony here, and over here, right behind the curtain, are a lot more, or behind that curtain, over there. <clears throat> and uh, again, some more, and conference el elsewhere. This is in Timishwara. And uh, here's Pastor's brother. He's quite a hoot. He's a banker and he is a great blessing and we enjoyed him very much. Another conference that I had the privilege of uh, attending there. And uh, so we've been in Germany. 80 million population. Do we get all of them? No, but we get some of them. And your pastor and others have ministered there. And this is the Pentecostal leader there in Germany. And you see some of the outpouring of the Spirit of God. And also we're making contact with the Theological Seminary there in Germany. Why? Because we have a command, go ye into all the world. Don't stay home. Go. Go. It may be across the block. It may be across the street. It doesn't mean you leave the United States. But it could mean whatever go means to you. And God has opened up Serbia to us with 7.2 million. 
And here are some pictures of this man here who's translating as a medical doctor. So there are two medical doctors there, part of the congregation. And this guy came along. You know, he had unkept hair. And I wondered where we picked him up from until he opened his mouth. And then I heard Pavarotti, Luciana, Pavarotti. But a magnificent voice came out of it. You can't tell a book by its cover. A Czech Republic, what an incredible nation Czech Republic is with their 10 and a half million people. So here we're working our way there. And um, we met Sang Yi Nam, our Korean minister and uh, missionary there. And here we are in the center of Plzen, not Prague. Prague is even more ornate. And some of the magnificent views. This is the leader of one of the Pentecostal churches there. Their music ministry, you know, they're good. They're not as good yet, but they're on the way. And there's some of the wonderful congregation there, the privilege to go and minister, the hunger, the thirst. It is absolutely incredible. So God has enabled us to go to Romania, Germany, the Czech Republic, Austria, and Serbia. But we're not done yet. We're just getting warmed up. How about you? You know, people have excuses. I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. Well, um, I qualify for two of those. <laughs> but cut the excuses. Just cut them out. And uh, let's go. You get a 10 on that one. Okay. Over 100 children at one camp, we only sleep 50. But you know what we do? We do it anyway. No excuses, just do it anyway. Okay, and how, how can you turn that down? How can you not be moved, you know? And this is what your dollars are allowing us to do. We wouldn't be able to do what we do. How much do they pay for the, the, the camps with those kids there? Well... We're, they, were, they were paying nothing, and we would put the whole bill, but now we ask them for 10 lay a kid. What is that? That's three bucks per kid for a week, just to cover our electricity. How can we do that? Because of powerful prayers and sacrificial gifts. <laughs> yeah. So our backyard and the, your, your men here have built this whole extension on top there that gives us uh, about uh, 20 more kids, depending on how you stack them. If you stack them like sardines in a can, we can get more in. We have a row, row of mattresses there, and it's not one kid for a mattress. It's look for a spot and dive in. Yeah. That's just the way it is, and a, a view from the outside. And So we're celebrating what the Lord has done, just as you're celebrating what the Lord has done here in Kingdom Life, because we're an extension of the powerful Holy Ghost ministry that is going on here at the Kingdom Life. And so, you're, help me now. <laughs> Giving to <laughs> is <laughs> Amen. And so from a missionary on the field, I say thank you people of KLM. How does this happen? Powerful prayers. Yes. Amen. God bless you.